must be gutted for the players. They, they've done everything and, 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 and still you come away with a defeat. Yeah, I feel for them today. I really do. I feel for everyone at the club. I think everyone saw how much commitment there was out there. Um, good quality, not so good quality. Um, but I'm going to say it again, I can't believe we haven't come away with anything and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's deflating and it's very frustrating, but um, that's where we are. But full credit to the lads, they, they give everything today. Um, they just give themselves a mountain to climb at 2-0 down to get anything from the game, unfortunately. Yeah, you, you look at that, you know, uh, we know that Leon Love is a, a top-class striker, it was clinical finishing. It was good, I think we made it really easy for him, uh, first half. One thing we didn't do with the win first half is we, we didn't put enough pressure on them, didn't have enough quality going into the box, and when we did we scored. Um, so that was poor from us, but um, our reaction at half time was excellent and it was one way traffic and uh, we just needed that goal, we had things off the line, we hit the bar, Nathan Ashmore made two great saves and just couldn't get it in the back of the net, so uh, ah, yeah, one of those days. The contentious point obviously is that Arias did get it in the back of the net and then he got chalked off. Yeah, I know it was full of emotion and last minute everyone looks at the ref and they boo the ref, but. It's one of those, isn't it, um, where you get them, some of you get them, some of you don't. Goalkeepers get pr protected a hell of a lot more than anybody else, but I didn't see a lot in it, to be honest. I uh, watched it back, it wasn't a foul. Um, but like you said, I think it's it's easier for the ref to, to give the foul than it is to give the goal. He took his time though, didn't he? You know, but it took a long time for the fans in the East End to, to, to accept the Yeah, goal. I just think when you've got the momentum and if you know the game and the player jumps before the other player, he's always got to um, jump on top of him. And, and that's what it was, there was no foul in it beforehand. He just jumped earlier and on jumping earlier, he's landed on him. And uh, the ref probably sees that as a foul, which is uh, soft at the least, I tell you. You've got a, a bit of a, a weekend off now, obviously going into the new year, you've got Rochdale next week away. On the balance of, of, of everything and the way that the performances are there, the players themselves must be, you know, they need a bit of a bit of an uplift, don't they? Well, listen, they, they don't look like we're playing like we're bottom of the league today. And that's all I can say and that's all we can work on. We, we go into every game trying to win, um, not to lose especially, because we know every point's vital. Not a lot's changed of what we still need to do. We need 30 points. If we're lucky, we might get away with 28, but we need 30 points to stay in the league. It's just one game chalked off and we'll go and try and win next week at Rochdale. It's as simple as that and um, I'll do everything I can to make that happen. You look at it, Russ, as well, yeah, so I know we've been saying the same thing. We, we have the same conversation week in, week out. It's got to change. Yeah, but we've got to do, we, it's, it's our wrongdoing, you know. Um, I thought Jack Lambert was absolutely amazing today in terms of performance levels and quality. But he could have had an action on another day. And if I'm going to be really, really picky, um, it's that little bit of quality that we've lacked this year just to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, but it will come, we'll score at trick one day and, uh, and rub it in everyone's faces. But yeah, it's, it's hard to take at the moment. But um, listen, the table doesn't lie, unfortunately. And we are where we are and we'll, we'll go again. Well, thank you very much. Is it just about having that complete performance for you as well, as much as there have been lots of games where we've created lots of chances and perhaps have been undone by maybe a mistake or some trough at the back and so many days where it's been vice versa and just putting it together really? It sounds simple, but I guess that, that's the big task. Yeah, very rarely do you have a complete performance, Matt. I, I don't think anyone's had a complete performance against us either. We've just been on the wrong end of the results. Um, I think it's just moments. I really do. I thought the goals against today were really, really poor. And they're the only chances they've had. Um, we have to make Nathan Ashmore work three times, a goal disallowed, hit the crossbar, and we still lose the game. Um, someone just said to me there, you know, we've come away with a point on Tuesday, probably being really poor, and we've come away with nothing today, being excellent. So, this game never ceases to amaze me, mate. And um, yeah, we just have to um, pick up our heads and go again. And I know it's the million dollar question because. Obviously, you must feel like you need a lift too, but with this keep happening to the group, it's difficult to keep chins off the floor. Really. But <laughs> that's what you do have to do, isn't it? Because we've got games coming. Yeah, but I do also know, being in the game a long time, it only takes one performance to change everything. And uh, that's what we're fighting for.